Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to learn how we can select multiple rows and columns using different methods. So basically, to do this task, we are having uh, these methods that is the lock method, and the second one is the i lock method. We also used to have the ix method, but uh, after point two version point two of Pandas release, it was deprecated and is no more supported. I'll still give you a general idea what is ix. So basically, if we talk about lock method. In this log method, we have to work with the labels of the columns, right? We have to call a column using its label, using its name. But in the i log, we have to work with the indexes. As the name suggests, i location, that is index location. We have to work with the indexes of the columns. Let's say I want to uh, refer to index zero column, then I have to uh, uh, make, I have to call it as zero, right? But if I'm working with the log method, then I have to call it using its name. Then if we talk about the ix method, it is a hybrid method. We can use both labels and the integers or we can say indexes using this ix method, right? But it is no more supported and it is deprecated. After 2020, it was deprecated, right? So if I just uh, comment this out and if we start working on the lock method and the i lock method, let's do it. So first of all, I have to create a data frame. So I'll call my data frame as df and we have already learned how to create or how to read CSV files. Uh, in pandas in the previous parts and let's uh, i'm going to call this employees.csv file the link of this csv file will be given in the description you can use the same csv file and you can also use a different csv file let's see the csv file we also have to import pandas that i missed so let's import pandas as pd let's run it And you can see this is my CSV file, which is having the names of the employees, their gender, their start date, last login time and few other columns, right? So when I was talking about this log, I was talking about these names. We have to call a column using its label. Let's wait. Let's say I want to print this first row and all its columns. So what I will do, I'll write df.log in the square brackets. You have to write zero first. Now zero. Uh, it contains two parameters and they will be separated using a comma. So this is the first parameter that is a row. So I am referring to this zero row or zero index row. So I, I have to write zero. Now you have to write a comma. Then you have to specify the columns. Now I told that we have to write all the columns. We have to print the data of all the columns. So for printing the uh, printing all the columns data, you have to just write a semicolon. And if I just run it, you can see that all the columns data is printing uh, is printed for the first row. Let's say I want to increase the number of rows. Let's say I want to print the data of zero and one index row. Then what I can do, I will just copy this. I'll just paste it. And you have to provide a list instead of this single scalar value. So I'll write zero comma one. And if I just run it, you can see that first two rows data is printed, right? Now let's say I want to print first 10 rows. Then you don't have to write zero, one, two, three, four like this. You just have to write this. Let me just show you. Instead of defining this list, you have to write 0, 2, 10, right? So this column means 2, right? 0 to 10, I want to print. So if I just run it, you can see that from 0 to 10, it is printing. And you have to uh, observe one more thing is that when I'm defining 0 to 10, it is not missing the 10 value. It is printing the 10th value also, 10th index value also. So this is the difference between lock and the i lock. If instead of this lock, I would have written i lock, then it would have printed till nine only, right? So in the Python also, if you if you would have worked with the for loop, then it ignores the last value, right? But the lock method does not ignore the last value that we have defined, right? So this is a difference, and this is how you have to uh, you can print uh, multiple rows. You can select multiple rows, right? Now let's start working with the columns. Let's say I want to print data uh, from zero to ten but only gender column. Then what I can do, just copy it, just paste it. And instead of defining this column, you have to write the name of that column. And if I run it, you can see only the gender column is printed for the first 11 rows, right? Now let's say I want to print the data of gender and the first name. So you can do one more thing. You can just write, let me just copy it. Let me just paste it. And you can just uh, define list. And inside this list, you have to define the names of the columns right gender then start date let's print this start date column this one and if i just run it uh one more yeah if i just run it you can see that 
for the first 11 rows we are getting gender and the start date now in the same way if you want to print multiple columns you can just define a column so let me just copy it paste it so let's say i want to print from gender to from gender to let's say senior management right so i'll just copy this column and you have to separate them using a colon and uh, yes and if i just print it you can see that starting from the gender till the senior management i'm getting all the data right so this is how you have to work with the lock method now the most important significance of this lock method is that you have to you can also uh, specify some conditions let's say i want to print only the male uh, employees so what i can do i can write df dot lock where df at gender is equal to is equal to male and for that you have to write all the columns so comma then colon that means all the columns will be printed so if i just run it you can see all the columns uh, for for only male employees is printed let's say i want to print only the first name right so instead of defining this column you have to write first name run it and you can see only the first name of the uh, male employees is printed right so this you have to work with the lock method now let's start working with the ilock method it is not that much different it is just the same we have to work with the indexes and only one small change is there i will show you so first of all let's see our head and let's say i want to print this first row using the ilock method and i want to work with only first name i want to print only first name so what i will do df dot i lock then you have to write zero for the row comma and zero for the column let's just print it and you can see the name of the first row first column is printed right so here i have not defined first name right i have defined an index so this is the difference between lock and an alloc in the alloc you have to define the index let's say i want to print from zero to three that means zero one two three and now you will see one more difference and you can see that uh, first name gender and start date is only printed but I wanted to print till 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. But here we are working with the iLock. As I told you before, in the iLock, it misses the, it ignores the last index that we have defined. For printing the last login time, you have to write 4 over here. And if I just run it, you can see last login time is also printed now. So this is how you have to work with lock and the iLock. And now uh, let's define some more rows. So you can write the same thing, df.iLock. Then starting from the 0, ending at the 10 and now you will see one more error that it is printing till 9. But when I was working with the lock, it was printing the 10th index also. So if you are, if you are working with the I lock, then you have to define one index greater than the uh, defined value or uh, your uh, value which you are in need, right? So if I just run it, you can see that now I am able to see the 10th index row. So this was how you have to work with the lock and the I lock and you can again define some conditions if you want to work with it right so this is how you can select multiple rows and columns using lock and dialog and ix is not that much different it is just the same uh, it, uh, the case is that you can uh, use hybrid values you can use index also you can use labels also but you can see that everything that uh, we want to do we can do using the lock and dialog that's why ix support is gone and it is now de uh, deprecated if you want to work with the ix uh, then you have to check that your version of the pandas which you are working is less than 0.2 right as you can see current version in 2021 is 1.1.3 but if you want to work with the uh, ix then you make then you have to make sure that you are using a version smaller than 0.2 version right so this is how you have to work with lock and dialog and i hope you like this video so if you want to give us any suggestions or feedback you can do that in the comment section thank you for watching this video